We just opened Mary Ellen's new Airstream travel trailer from American Girl. It retails for $350. As you can see, it's an open concept, so it doesn't completely close up. So on the back side here is where you see all the detail for the outside of the Airstream, including the non-working door to get inside. There is a red step piece included to make it look like you can step up to the door, and it just pops into place. Also on the outside is this really cool retractable awning. So you just twist it and it comes out, giving the dolls nice shade. And then when you're done, you can roll it back up. Here are a few more details on the outside, like the non-working lights and the open window. Now on the opposite side underneath the open window is a spot where you can plug in the propane tank and this again just pops into place. You get a full sheet of stickers to decorate your Airstream. And then moving on to the inside of the travel trailer, you see that it is the open concept. There are no doors, there's no way to close it up. And the entire structure is plastic except for the floor. The floor is the one piece of wood on the set. Here is a closer look at the cabinets up top. You have four that have doors, cabinet doors, and then you have two shelves in the middle. We'll open it up so you can see the cabinets, but psych, one of them is not real. So you actually only have three cabinets. This one is for your batteries, for the lights and the sound. There are several different sounds, so I'm just gonna go through them so you can hear them. There's also the light switch that turns on the two lights on the inside. The couch here can be pulled out into a bed like you see. So you pull it down and then you just push the center button and it pushes it back into a couch. And when you pull it out, it really only fits one doll comfortably. Two can be squished if you really try. On the side here is your fold out table, which is really nice because this camper is really narrow. So there's not a whole lot of room in here. So anything that can be folded up and out of place when not in use is really nice. So once you pull it down, there are legs that you can pop out to support the tabletop. And again, this is a plastic piece. The tabletop is really cute. It has a speckled design on it and it also matches the countertop over here in the kitchen. The kitchen area has a small corner sink. The knobs do turn, the faucet rotates. And then you have a stove off to the side. You have four gas burners, the knobs that turn but don't make any sound. You have a teapot. And above the sink and stove, over the open window, you have five hooks, which is really nice because you can hang your pots and pans, your spatula, and even your teapot. There are two blue pots with large oversized handles and lids, and the handles are like this, so you can hang them over the campfire when you're cooking food. You get three canned goods. You have a can of green beans, a can of baked beans, and a can of sweet corn. On the side of the oven, there are two hooks, so you can hang an apron or a pot holder, and this cherry pot holder is included. And we'll just take a peek inside the oven. There you go. And the handle is designed so you can slip this dish towel through so it hangs right here on the handle. Perfect. Underneath the counter is a mini size fridge. Has a little detail on the front here. And the cold items included are a bottle of milk, a bottle of soda, and half a dozen eggs. Now, I'm not sure if the bottom is meant to be a freezer or if it's just supposed to be a regular drawer, but you do have extra storage down there. Here is a closer look of the back wall area. You see these cherry patterned curtains. You can slide them over and it's an open window, 
There are hooks to the side of the window so you can pull the curtains completely back and you can see outside the windows. I like that feature. I like how all the windows are open. We'll pull the other curtain back and stick it behind the hook. And this is where you can see the lights a little bit better. So you can turn the lights on in here and there's also a clock on the back wall. And then there's this big open space and I think this is where you put your sticker bulletin board. So we'll put that on there and decorate with a few other stickers provided. The rest of the kitchen items include a bread box, a loaf of bread with three slices cut out of it, a flour canister, a sugar canister, lids included, a coffee canister, a tea canister with lids included, one spoon and one fork, and a stick of butter. That includes everything from Mary Ellen's Airstream travel trailer. Give this video a thumbs up if you think this is a cool playset, and leave us a comment below telling us your favorite part about the Airstream. Do you like this one better or Lainey's Camper?